Hey guys, it's Battle Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, what we did is that we explored the Lake Hope City, because there was quite a bit of people to talk to. We had a rival battle with May, and then we went to the department store. And in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to be going to Mount Pyre. So, in this episode, we're going to be facing a lot of trainers, and we're going to be facing... Well, we're actually going to be... Yeah, we're going to be facing Team Magma. But yet again, we are going to be getting our final team member at Mount Pyre. So, I think that'll tell you enough which Pokemon I'm getting, but... If you don't know, I guess you'll find out in due time. So that'd be awesome if we hit 10 likes this video. I'd really appreciate it. If you don't like this video, uh, be sure to uh, just not like the video and then explain why in the comments below. And how did I miss that? Whatever, we got it now. <laughs> how did I miss that my first way through? First time through, I have no idea. But yeah, be sure to tell me why in the comments below and I'll definitely improve my commentary. Just so I can fit your needs in order to get your like. Okay, oh... I could have healed up here. Well, I did technically not heal up last episode, so I guess it really wasn't too bad. Okay, so welcome to Route 122. I believe there's an area here where we can actually, um, let's say, uh, I think there's some Pokemon you can find. I mean, there's, of course, in the water, but isn't there like a grass area? I don't remember exactly. I remember it's not a place that I normally visited. I mean, there is Mount Pyre right here, but... Oh, yep, there's a little something down here. Route 123. Let's see, repel, we're off. Let's put up another one. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, looks like that we'll need cut. I guess we'll come back another time. That's fine. Now I know that's down here. I'll probably bring down my slave, and we'll definitely do some cutting, do some other stuff like that. Yeah, we'll come back. But this episode's going to be mainly for Mount Pyre, so let's go... Straight up into Mount Pyre. Okay. So this is quite an interesting place. It's like the Pokemon Tower. Oh, he is a trainer. I thought this guy was just a, a generic person that wanted to talk, but I guess he's not. So it's Mark. And he has a Lyron, so that's a good Pokemon for experience. Pinocchio, go on out! This thing does have a lot of defense, but we'll just go for a Leaf Blade. That should be more than enough to finish it off. Even though it's a physical attacking move, it's super effective, or it is not. I thought it was. Does grass... Is grass not super effective against rock? I was pretty sure it did. But is it possible that grass is not good against steel? <sighs> I might have to do some research or something after, just to make sure I know. That's kind of weird. Okay, so this is a cemetery. It's great. Um, oh, there's a psychic trainer here. I think that in this game, I don't remember exactly because it feels pretty vague. I don't remember exactly what this place looks like. I forgot if you can just go right to Team Magma and Team Aqua like in the old games. Just, just going through a separate path and you'll go up. Or you actually have to fight all the trainers first and then face Team Magma. I just don't remember exactly from my memory, so... Uh, okay, I guess we'll have to find out. So let's see, now Grumpig, while well, I'll just go for the Fate Attack. That should be good. Pinocchio is just such a good Pokemon. Beast! Yeah. So Makita's level 49, and Metagross is level 48. And we defeat William. I drown in self-pity. Good to know. So, let's see. Um, is this a trainer? Yes, maybe. No, you're not the one. Ah, wait a minute. Okay, this reminds me of something. Okay, so in Pokemon X and Y, you know that weird ghost girl that would go around and people have been tracking her all over X and Y? There are theories that say this is her. Because, you know, it's like, no, you're not the one. Ah. It kind of gives me the chills thinking about it right now, because like that ghost girl thing, it was kind of dumb. But I don't know, for some reason it's giving me a chill right now. I just don't know why. Eh, whatever. Oh, that's like how, oh, that's how you get ghost Pokemon in here? That's interesting. I think this person gives you the spell tag. Or the cleanse tag, whatever. It will ward off wild Pokemon. Wait, so that means it would be like a repel? Or would it just... 
make it easy to flee. Let's check let's check out the item description. Um keeps wild Pokemon away. Does it completely get rid of it or does it lower the chances? Uh, I don't want to take that chance. It's just too much time involved with wild encounters. But we'll face this uh hex maniac girl named Valerie and she has a Sableye. So it looks like we have to face all the trainers in here in order to get to Team Magma. I think they did that on purpose to beast, just to beef up all of our Pokemon stats with level ups, which is a good thing. That's a, that's what I think at least. So Sableye's down. Okay, we defeat Valerie. The power is ebbing away. They've got one thousand. And okay, super repel. All right, so now we have one extra one of those. That's real nice. Uh, memory of my darling Skitty. My eyes flood just thinking about it. I make a habit of coming here after work at least once a day. I'm, I'm afraid of forgetting my Pokemon. Huh. Let's talk to you. I'm so old that my tears have dried up completely. My memories flood my mind all my all the time. Okay. That's actually kind of sad. This used to be a desolate place. The ground that has holes here and there, I used to fall in. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> he just sucks at life if he just keeps falling through holes that he creates. <laughs> um, okay, um... Let's put Metagross up top, because it looks like there's a Fairy-type trainer. When I told everyone that I can talk with Pokemon, they became concerned for me. Yeah, I'd be concerned for you too, because you can't technically talk in their language and understand them. So, I mean, they understand us. It's just that when they say Pika Pika, or Rah! I don't think you can get much from that. Just saying. <laughs> okay, Meteor Mash, go. And that should finish it off, because it's super effective. Okay, Jigglypuff is down! Okay, flying too high is level 47. We defeat Momo. And now we have to switch around our Pokemon once again. Because there is a fighting trainer up here. So we will fight him. Teacher, please watch over my progress. I'm your teacher? Alright. Um, we'll look at your Pokemon at Sushi. <laughs> Where's he from? He's at... <laughs> Where's he at? He's at Sushi! <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but, you know, at, like a direction. At, yeah, he's at, and then direction. He's at, that's definitely a great location, Sushi. I don't know where I'm going with that. And I bet none of you are thinking what I'm talking about either, so that's fine. <laughs> um, let's go to an aerial ace and finish it off. Uh, my choke is down. And we defeat at sushi. Teacher, please forgive me. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> Even though I was never your teacher. I wonder why cemeteries are I wonder how cemeteries are built. Oh gosh. A couple. We'll have to fight them. Cause we need some money. Um That's good, that's fine. I like it that way. We come to test our courage. My girlfriend will look, love me even more when she sees how cool I am. I'm sure I'm cool by knocking your Pokemon out. I'm really scared, but as long as I'm with my boyfriend, I'll be okay. He'll try to show me how cool he is by knocking you out. Oh, yeah. Uh, keep on dreaming. Dream on. Dream on! Dream on! Okay, I didn't want to go too far, so I didn't want to go real loud or scream, because I really can't go that high. But Steven Tyler, he can definitely make that, that screeching sound, and there's no way I would ever be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what that is, it's, uh, oh gosh, no, I want muddy water. There we go. That's yeah, uh, Aerosmith, you know, Steven Tyler. Um, Aerosmith, yeah, he's the lead singer that you can, he can sing pretty high notes. And he still can. I mean, when he used to be the judge of American Idol, that was something. He could really could hit those notes, and yeah, I used to watch American Idol. And I formally regret it. I can't stand watching it anymore. It was like when I was younger. I was like, yeah, okay, it's not that bad. And plus, my parents had me watching it when I was really young, so it kind of got me into it, into it, but I'm not really into American Idol anymore. Yeah, it kind of got old, like it should. <laughs> but oh well. 
Let's move on. Um, is there anyone else in here? Oh, there's other people. So many things I've forgotten that strangely come back to me when I visit here. It's very fascinating. Uh, okay, well. We got a sea incense here. Don't remember exactly what a sea incense does. Because, I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of items in, in the game. It boosts the powers of water type moves. Okay. That's cool. But I don't... I'm not going to use it. So, we're going to be facing more trainers here. So, yes, here's Darnell. Is it, did it really say Darnell? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Okay, I just had to. Um, because uh, Dragon's good against Dragon, I will use the Dragon Pulse here and make it so that, well, I'll just get, it'll change into a Dragon type and I'll be able to take it down real easily. So Shadow Claw didn't do much. That was a crit too. That really wasn't a lot. Um, Dragon Pulse. That should finish it off, because, you know, now it's super effective. Boom! Look at that. Once again, color change, not very useful. Although it is very useful if you're trying to find out uh, what hidden power you have. I know there's that lady in Fortree that can tell you your hidden power, but in old games, they didn't tell you what your hidden power was. So that was a good way of uh, finding out. And, oh, wow, there was a ghost trainer there. I did not see her. Not a ghost trainer, but a hex maniac. Tasha. And she has a shup it. How about you shup it up? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let's go for the fly. And it's going to go for embargo, which uh, makes it so it's I can't use items. But I just took it down so it can't use it on me. So, there you go. That was good. Flying too high is level 48. Alright, and now it's time for Zatu. Um, I guess we'll go out to Robust Frog, because I mean, well, it does have the Rock Tomb. Or, uh, not Rock Tomb, Rock Slide. So, I guess why not use it? Um, let's go for a Mega to make sure I completely take this thing down real easily. Mega bra Bracelet, go! <laughs> to you two. Okay, Rock Slide. There we go. Critical hit, too. That was real nice. Robust Frogs level 49. Holy cow. That's 170 attack. That's quite a lot. But we defeat Tasha. Losing, I dislike. Well, that's too bad, because you just lost. You're going to have to learn to lose sometime. Um, let's put Pinocchio in instead of flying too high, because we do have a double battle right here. And it's with one Hex Maniac and one Fairy Girl. So, I might as well use the Faint Attack on the Psychic Trainer. Not the Psychic, the Ghost Trainer. And we'll just use, uh... Oh yeah, we'll just use uh, Robust Frog for the Fairy Trainers. Although we could have just used Metagross, but I kind of want to use Robust Frog. So, Faint Attack on Giraffe Rig. And we'll go for the Muddy Water on Mawile. And, uh, what you might call it? Giraffe Rig. Fun fact, you know that Giraffe Rig is actually spelled Giraffe Rig backwards. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting uh, thing to talk about. Muddy Water, it should be super effective, even though it's a water type. You are throwing mud at it like Mud Shot, so why is it not a ground type move? It doesn't make any sense. If it's Muddy Water, why can't there just be types with two, uh, like moves with two types? I feel like there has to be for some of these moves. I feel like that would be the next renovation in the Pokemon series. I have a feeling that it's that. I, it's a very good feeling. Oh, looks like that we can go straight out there for uh, Team Magbo. But let's see what's up here. Oh yeah, here we go. They give you something up here, I believe. Oh yeah, I'm right here. You get our, ourselves TM30 Shadow Ball. Plus there's a Mega Stone up there, which I didn't remember that was there. So let's see what you have to say. Um, I guess that's their Pokemon that died. It must be quite an, a good Pokemon for Pokemon Meow and Me inscribed on it. That was its name, Meow and Me, uh, whatever, maybe a TV show. And here's Metachamite. So if you get a Metatite evolving into Metacham, you give it the Metachamite, and, and, and it's pretty good. So, 
Okay, so that is it for this part of Mount Pyre. Now we're going to get to the Mount Pyre Summit. So, my new Pokemon is here. So let's see if we can come across it. There's a 15% chance we can come across it here. According to some research online. Maybe. Oh, I'd repel on. Now it affects my encounter rate pretty well. Well, let's see if we can find it. And there it is, right there. Pinocchio, let's go. Actually, I'm going to switch out because all my Pokemon will kill it. So, except for Metagross because it has the whole deck. Even though it is a bad matchup, I mean, level 29 Volpix is not going to hurt the Metagross too much. So, let's see. It probably has Ember. And it goes for Faint Attack. That's still super effective. But that did nothing. But yeah, Volpix is... The reason why I want to use Volpix is because it definitely is a Pokemon that does give me some challenge. And the thing is, is that I want a Pokemon that does challenge me. And so far, none of my Pokemon really challenge me. And Volpix definitely was a good Pokemon way back in uh, red and blue and yellow. But because of the special attack and special defense split, it made it weaker. Because it definitely had a bunch of special in first gen, which it was a powerhouse then. But, whatever. Now we caught Vulpix. So now I just added it on the sidebar there. That was pretty cool. Now Vulpix is added to the Bogodex. Okay, Vulpix was a female. It's a fox Pokemon, two feet tall, 21.8 pounds. At the time of its birth, Vulpix has one white tail. The tail separates into six if this Pokemon receives plenty of love from its trainer. The six tails become magnificently curled. Wait a minute, so this Pokemon had a previous trainer? It doesn't make any sense. Because as you can tell, there are six tails there, and it says it separates the six when a Pokemon gets love from its trainer. Ah, uh, whatever. Want to give a nickname to this Vulpix? Sure. Okay, since it is a female, I might as well name it something here. Uh, I'll name it Amaterasu. Okay. The story behind Amaterasu is it's a Japanese god that they had a long time ago in mythology. And it, the only reason why I named it that is because uh, it reminds me of Okami. You know, this. Uh, it, although th um, there is a. What was it, like a demon god that was in Okami, which is in their Japanese mythology that is Ninetales. But because this Pokemon can have the drought ability, which this one doesn't. But I know when you get to a Mirage spot later on, which I'll explain when we get to that point. Oh, wow, voice crack. Um, you can get a Drought one. And, of course, I'm not going to wait until then because that's in the after game. But, you know, it just kind of remind, reminds me more of a Matarasu than uh, Ninetales. So, of course, Ninetales is also the Pokemon's name as well when it's fully evolved. So, I mean, that wouldn't be that great of a name if, uh, if I did, in fact, um, you know... Evolve it, which I will, but I'm gonna wait until I can get a couple moves on it. And I indeed get a fire, I did get a firestone. And actually, do I have a lucky egg or something? I don't remember if I do or not. Because if I gave it the lucky egg, I don't think you can get a lucky egg in this game at this point, at least. No, I don't think so. But yeah, sooner, very soon, I will be evolving it with the firestone, which I got in the fiery path. But anyways, let's move on. Let's get a repel up, and yeah, uh, where are they? Okay, I have my max repel, super repel. Here we go. So the problem is, is that this Pokemon's very under leveled. I don't know whether or not I should train it, but I know it'll catch up eventually. But it's still gonna take a while. So let's see. There's a HM or TM right here. TM Will-O-Wisp. I could find that pretty useful. That could be something I could give to Vulpix. I haven't looked at its moveset yet, so it might not have Will-O-Wisp on its moveset right now. Oh, it already has it. Okay, never mind. Forget about what I just said there. Let's look at its moveset quickly. Because I know it has Ember for sure. And it did show Feint Attack as... Okay. Oh, it did use Hex, which I didn't notice. Oh, it had Flame Burst. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, I did get one that lowers Physical Attack, which I really don't care. Because, I mean, this is going to be a special attacking Pokemon. So, it's not too bad of a nature. So yeah, that'll be good. So now let's take on Team Magma while we're here, and yeah, we'll it, yeah, we'll just get moving on here. There are a bunch of hidden items here, but I don't know if I can find all of them. 
that's going to be quite hard for me to do so. Um, I could try. I mean, I can try a few places where I can get items. Well, I mean, why not? I mean, this video can be as long as I want it to be, gosh darn it. Oh, why did I put my bike on? I want the item finder. Wait, is there anything over there? Nope. How about over here? Nope. Okay. Well, well, head over here. Oh, there's something over here. Repel. Let's use it. Um. Oh, whoa. Okay, we got a max ether right here. That's real nice. Okay, let's see. Is there... Wait, whoa. What? Maybe right here? Okay, it's... Maybe right here. Yeah, right here. We get an Ultra Ball. Okay, so we got a free Ultra Ball. That's real nice. Now we have 45 again. Did we use an Ultra Ball? No, we used a Pokeball on Vulpix. Did we? I don't know. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what ball it's in. Okay, and it looks like now there's a bunch of uh, Team Magma Grunts here we'll have to face. So let's put a uh, Robust Frog up top. So there we go. You! We met at Mount Chimney! Now I'll take my revenge! Okay, bring it. I'm not really that intimidated, but whatever. Come on, bring it. I'm not scared. Okay, Team Magma Grunts. Now it's time for a coughing. I'm not scared at all, Robust Frog. Go! Level 36. That's weak. Surf. Finish it off. Boom! Okay, maybe we can get a level up with Vulpix. That'd be cool, although it's only 500 experience. So it really wasn't that much. Metagross was level 49, though. But we defeat the Grunt. Ah, oh, I lost to the kid again. Well... You gotta know I'm like a prodigy. I have six badges. How many do you have? Zero? What? Who are you? What can a kid do all by himself? Everything. I can save the world. Okay, here we go. Team Magma Grunt, and you have a Nummel. Weak. Especially at this point of the game. So, let's see. Um, let's go with a Muddy Water. Once again, that should be both a water and ground type move. This is, I believe, a exclusive move to Swampert. So, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, I wish it was both ground and water type. That would be the coolest thing in the world. If they could add double typing for a move. But let's see, Maki, you are up. Mighty Yenna go. Although, it would be confusing how they would use it. I mean, if it was double typing, you it'd be hard to sh get to show, like, strengths and weaknesses for it. It'd be kind of tough and confusing if they did add it in future games. Maybe I take that back about my comment. The next renovation two types. I don't, know, I don't know. Maybe they could make it work. I don't know. But anyways, let's see if we can find some more hidden items. I know there's a rare candy somewhere. Oh, right here? Okay, there's a zinc. And we can't go there, so let's check. I don't think I need another repel. I'm fine there. Um, oh, there's a mega stone here. We get a banettite. I think that's how you pronounce that. There has to be a an item here. I was pretty sure there was an item. I guess not. Guess yeah. Guess there isn't. Wait, what just happened? Was it trying to trigger something there? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, no, forget it. Never mind. I was thinking maybe, just maybe, there'd be something there, but whatever. I'm going to face this trainer now. I'll still show you the true terror of Team Magma. Okay, bring it. I haven't seen any of that yet, so I'd like to see it now. Mighty Anna. Okay, that's that. Yeah, I'm scared. Yep. Oh, I should pretend I'm scared. Make him feel good. Oh, oh my gosh, a mighty Anna. Get away. Oh my gosh. Okay, Swapper, do something. Surf, I don't know. Do something. Ah, whatever. Surf. KO. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Swapper. You saved my life. But keep level 50. Try to learn reversal. Okay. That's, that's crazy. Okay. Hey, Golbat. Um... Now nah, let's keep uh, Robust Frog in. Let's go for the Rock Slide. 
has shaked down the Golbat. Call it good there. And maybe we'll find some more hidden items right past this trainer. Who knows? We defeat the Magma Grunt. I see. Do you intend to defy Team Magma all by yourself? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. I don't need a group. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Is it Maxi from Team Magma? Hmm. So it was you. I'm sorry I had to postpone my defeat of you at Mount Chimney. And now I'm sorry I must propose it once more. I can't afford to waste even a single second now, for the red orb is which been enshrined here at Mount Pyre. Now belongs to me, the great Maxi. Courtney. Huh? Uh, you must see that our dear visitor is not neglected due to the inability to battle now. Do you be so kind to battle him with your full measure of your strength and crush this boy so he'll never for never again for a single moment uh, dream of defying our team? F you, F you, F you, F you. That's not real nice. With this red orb, red orb in my possession, I have no need to power of the meteorites to awaken the beast from the deep. All that I need now is a way to reach the place where it sleeps. Did that Was that meant to rhyme? Oh. The only task remaining is obtaining the submarine being constructed in the Slateport. We move out once again, team. Our next destination, Slateport City. And here comes Courtney. Analyzing. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, here we go. It's a final battle at Mount Chimney. Team admin Courtney. Um, she has a came up, to, I believe, level 38. But I'm not worried because I have Surf on Robust Frog. Yo, look at that. I haven't memorized the level. I remember Sharpedo from uh, Alpha Sapphire level 38. So I was thinking, oh, Game Ruff has to be level 38 in this game. So, there we go. Robust Frog's level 50. Halfway to 100. That's pretty cool. Uh, Matarasu is, is uh, level 30. Funny. 3,800. Again, that's unanticipated. Un I knew it. You're interesting. Haha, -ha, I look forward to. I look forward to when we can meet again. Is she like trying to set me up with her or something? That's kind of weird. Ah, oh, Gray May and now Courtney. Oh, ah, me, what a disaster. The red orb stole from our safekeeping. The red orb and blue orb. Oh, blue orb and new orb should never be separated. They belong together. Um, I will entrust you the remaining blue orb to you, young one. Okay. Thank you very much. Whoa. That was weird. We obtain the blue orb. I beg you, chase after those thieves and take back the orb that matches leader of theirs. I'm sure they were headed to Snapeport City next. I remember in the old games they never mentioned that, and they, it actually took me a while to figure that out in this game. I, it's a good thing they mentioned it now, because I'm sure it would still confuse people on where to go next. Because I still remember to this day that there wasn't anything, it was just like, oh yeah, there's something. Yeah, we can't get to the hideout. Oh, let's randomly go to the uh, Slateport City place. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a hidden item here. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Oh, it's right here. And we get a Carbos. That's nice. And there are, I think there's a rare candy on the other side of this. And then we'll just fly down from here. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yep, there's something here. Wait. Oh, there we go. Rare candy. So that is it for this place. Let's try flying down from here. I don't know if we can. But... We will fly over to Slateport if we can. Yes, we can fly. So let's go straight to Slateport. And that's where we'll end off the episode. So I think that's the first time we've flown in this game. That's great. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be trying to find out what Team Magma's going to be doing with that submarine. Actually, they did actually talk about it. But we're going to see how they get that submarine. And we're also going to go to their hideout next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like it and uh, comment, favorite, subscribe, check out the inbox, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Omega Ruby.